Hi there, this is Cappadocia. One of the most incredible, strange, fascinating, unique places in the world. And if you follow my channel, then you know that I was here a little while ago before. I was uh, here for six days exploring around and then I left and I went on a road trip with the uh, rental car that I have here around southeastern Turkey. And then I had a flight booked out of Kayseri. Kayseri is the city that is an hour's drive east of here and the best place to fly into to visit Cappadocia. And so I came back to uh, catch that flight tomorrow and return the rental car. And I had one day left, so I decided to come out here and see something that I hadn't seen the last time that I was here. And so uh, I'm going to the Love Valley today, which looks like a very interesting and unique uh, place there. It is just a mile out that road right there. So uh, going to hop in the rental car and go check it out. Here we go. All right, out this road here apparently. Love Valley panoramic view. However, I don't think that I want the panoramic view. I want the hike into the valley, which is different. But maybe I can do both. So the advantage to the hike into the valley is that uh, you get away from the tour bus crowds. So those who have uh, seen my other videos of Cappadocia here, I was here for six days exploring around. There is so much to see here, it is insane. You could easily spend a couple of weeks exploring here. And so uh, if you saw those other videos, then you will know that this area was inhabited by people who carved out caves and lived in them for thousands of years. I'm not sure. Well, the question I was about to ask has been answered. I was going to say, I'm not sure if this was inhabited by people or not, because not all of the... Uh, regions had uh, cave communities in them, but I can already see the uh, little squares in the sides there, little windows. And so the general term for the uh, natural formations here are called fairy chimneys. You can see these ones that look kind of like, you know, homes with chimneys on top. And so what you're seeing here is all natural formations through eons of time of the erosion of the uh, land here and then the human created caves carved into some of these natural structures. Very cool, it's like a uh, love lock tree, but little wine casks. And so the viewpoint is up there. 
I discovered that there was another way to get in, drive around back the way that I'd come. And this road actually starts right where I started the video, right at those uh, two ferry chimneys. Then uh, this road comes along here, but you can't actually drive in, maybe because of the uh, sand, but you can walk in. And I saw a cave up here carved out, going to uh, walk up there and take a look, show one of the uh, ancient caves. There's the valley right there. Huh, very uh, small room here. Not really a living space, so I don't know. And no clue how old this might be, but it could be thousands of years old. Most of them, I think, were carved out at least like a thousand years ago, and many of them uh, much longer ago than that, thousands of years ago. They don't even know when the uh, people first started living in this area and carving out these caves. You can see the uh, grooves and the scratches and stuff in the walls as they were creating it. So I guess this might be kind of silly to even point out, but I can't help but notice that these kind of uh, skinny tall ones look a little like, you know, cucumbers or zucchinis or carrots or something. I wonder why they called it Love Valley. It seems like it would have made more sense to call it Vegetable Valley. So it looks like this one was one that was carved out and lived in, or otherwise used by humans somehow. Look at this. Not much of a home, so uh, who knows, could have been like a little shop or a meditation room or, and we have some ancient graffiti. Not so ancient actually, really stupid kids' drawings or something. So you can see here, definitely carved out. You have uh, the scratches and the uh, 
char from a fire must have been like a uh, cooking space possibly. Maybe this was like a little kitchen. Would love to know exactly what was going on inside these things to uh, be able to walk through here when it was alive and filled with people in this valley and see how they lived in this kind of just totally strange kind of a lifestyle. So the valley goes a long ways up that way. I think it actually goes through, like you can just uh, walk this way and then get to another road or something that way. I think that is actually where uh, a guy was saying uh, that if you go down that way two kilometers, then uh, you get to the uh, path you can hike in here. And so you can hike from one end of the valley to the other. But I'll just hike up it a little ways further. So it looks like that path just keeps on going up that way. I think that is a dry creek bed. But I'm going to uh, turn around, hike back down the valley, go get in my uh, rental car and drive back to Kaiseri, stay there for the night, and tomorrow, hopping on a flight. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Turkish adventure. Turkey is an incredible country. I really just scratched the surface. There's so much more to see here. So uh, I definitely recommend uh, coming to Turkey. And coming next, a country that is going to be really awesome. Looking forward to it. Stay tuned. See ya.